Yeah, on you go. I'm a call centre worker. My name is Sean Clerkin. I only earn £13,000 a year. I've had a 10% cut in my wages over the last two years because of the financial difficulties that uh, we were in. Uh, but let me tell you something, it's the poor that have to pay for the sins of the rich. The fact of the matter is the bankers, just for a few billion pounds in bonuses, have wrecked the whole world economy uh, because of their greed, their avarice and their ruthlessness and their brutality. And the fact of the matter is then the governments rush to bail them out with trillions and trillions of pounds here in Britain. One trillion pounds was used to bail the banks out here. And what's the result? The result of it is that the, conser the, c the Conservative government and the Conservative Lib Dem government, coalition government, come in and they say, oh, there's a massive deficit and it needs to be cut, and uh, the poor have to pay for those, uh, pay for the deficit. The fact of the matter is they're just using the deficit to destroy the welfare state, to destroy our education, to destroy our, our, our national health service, and to destroy local public services in local areas to emasculate and destroy working class communities. That's what it's all about. It's, it's about going to a laissez-faire system all over the world and in Britain. That's where I live. That's what their intention is. I mean, what is the alternative? The alternative is very, very clear. In this country, in Britain, there's 120 billion pounds paid for but there's 120 billion pounds uh, in Britain that goes uncollected in taxes for the rich, uh, basically through tax evasion and tax avoidance, and they get away with murder. They're financial rapists. They are financial. They're, 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 they're financial fraudsters. That's what they are. These people, banks, speculators, rich people, uh, avoiding and evading paying their taxes, and we've got the. And, Again, the media is blaming the poor in Greece and in uh, likes of Spain and Portugal and these other countries uh, for saying that they, were, uh, that, that they weren't paying taxes. It was the rich that weren't paying their taxes. Take Greece. Greece, basically, they've they, not been collecting taxes from the rich for years in Greece. This is like Britain, 2007. None of the top 20 companies in Britain paid a penny in tax. Same thing, really. But in Greece, Goldman Sachs, the American bank, came along and said, well, turn your deficit into uh, currency uh, into uh, what we call currency swaps. And guess what? That's what they did to cover up their deficit. But at the end of the day, it's the poor that are paying for the sins of the rich. Recently on the BBC, one of the Greeks that was being interviewed was being asked, how is it going to, how is it going to affect him? And he started talking about revolution started talking about socialism as the alternative and the BBC guys shut them up very quickly because they didn't even want to hear that. The media don't want to hear the alternative. They're currently they're ignoring the alternative all the time. What we need to do is tax the rich. We've got to tax the rich and so that we can provide decent public services for the poor. And at the end of the day, cutting my wages by 10% and 49% increases, 50% increases for the, for the, 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 the richest directors, the richest executives in Britain, uh, just shows you the way it's going. No, we do need socialism. We do need revolution. We do need taking to the streets. We do need direct action, and I urge everybody everywhere to take direct action against the rich and against the, the powerful. That's what we need to do. And I tell you most solemnly that I'm sick of hearing about the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. It's about time we did something about it. I'm one of the poor, and I'm wanting to do something about it, and I have been doing something about it. Direct action works. It gets people, it gets people together, collectively together. No, let's just have camps, let's get out there and get into the streets and basically take on the rich. That's what we need to do in the financial districts and graffiti it and stop the traffic and basically stop them robbing us blind. They are fraudsters, financial rapists. At the end of the day they're just nothing but thieves and robber barons and we have to stop them now.